We back with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in the last episode. We took out the uh, Galactic Veilstone base, and then we came here and got near to the top of Mount Coronet before, uh, yeah, and that's about it. So we're gonna, we're gonna move on. I, okay, stopped in a good place, because now we're here at Spear Pillar. Something huge is gonna happen, I think, maybe, right? The middle round. Of course you're gonna t going to, aren't you? That's why two of us will t team up, take you down to the ground. All right, we'll see about that. I see Jupiter and Mars up there too. I think we battle them as well. We're literally a full ten levels above these guys, by the way. They're level thirty-eight. That's ridiculous. We just got so much XP from that freaking dust ox. All right, we defeated the grunts pretty pretty simply. The devs of the grunts, that was me. All right, let some little kid beat me. Yeah, but well, that was just pathetic. We're gonna let you pass and get pulverized by our bosses. Spear pillar looks nuts, honestly. I wonder if there's any like hidden items or anything. I don't know, probably not. I wonder if there's a different area of the underground too. Maybe later I'll have to come back and check it out. I also do want to go check out that place down below where the uh, Team Galactic is preventing me from going before. But anyways, we're good. Let's let's go fight. <sighs> now all will end and everything will begin. With this red chain, I'll pro open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and master of time! The fucking chibi bullshit, man. It, it doesn't look good for the severity of the scene. I actually thought we fought Jupiter and Mars before we challenged Cyrus. But I also haven't seen these cutscenes yet. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. Why is the Drifloon there? I already caught it. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh, Dalga, the ancient deity of time. I'm pretty sure that's not the sound that it made. Gugugugugugugba. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Okay then. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. I'm not even wearing gloves, so that's just, that's just, you know, that. Hold on a second! Don't you start the party without me! <laughs> what isn't the little boy who ran off crying at like acuity? Did you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. Do 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 did he just catch his Munchlax? I have a little 40-some Munchlax as well on the PC. Why are they... Why are they both Bronzors? Damn it. Glenn is not prepared to go against Bronzors. Well, I mean, she's definitely prepared. God damn it, now we'll do no damage. And light screen! Oh my god, you guys suck. And I don't have Brick Break. Maybe I can crit the Bronzor. Thank you, Red. Much appreciated. She and Sheedon both level up from that. Did she get healed? I wasn't even paying attention. Sheedon wants to learn Thunder. Whoa! Nah, I'm good. 
Oh, I actually thought our, our rival healed us before this fight. But clearly, no. What do I send? I'm gonna just attack the Skun Tank. Oh, that's a bad. Ow. I forgot it had Flamethrower. Yeah, they both went for me. Could've gone into blue. Just realized that. Then I would've literally absorbed the fire. <laughs> Thick fat munchlax don't give a shit, except he got burned. That sucks. Oh, you son of a bitch! At least I'm still able to kill the Bronzor. That's always good. Come on, Misty. Yes. All right, Misty breaks her confusion again. Should be it for Skunting. Beautiful. I get hit by Aftermath, but comes with the territory. I don't have any special moves. It's fine. We handled it. He paralyzed me. Oh, that did way too much damage. Misty is still confused? Okay, thank God she broke through. All right, well, Munchlax gets defeated finally. That guy stuck around. It was doing work. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Watch me get parried too. Why do you have a Bleasel at level 42? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why have I not broken out of confusion? It's five fucking turns in a row. Well done, Misty. Why would you tail whip? You would have been able to kill the Golbat if you brined again. Why do you have a Ponyta at level 42? What is wrong with you? Bruh. That is some trash. Okay, Golbat gets one shot. That's when Tail Whip is effective, but... It was completely unnecessary the first time. The, the When the Weasel used it, I should say. It worked when the... Thing is it. But God, this this jet is a fucking moron. What is it? What is the team? Sheesh! I could have done the fighting myself. Or I should have. What do you mean? You toughen up, but you're no match for our boss. I'm nearly level fifty, dude. <laughs> the Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. Yes, you would if you evolved two of your Pokemon, which happen to also be the same as my Pokemon. Get some origin originality, you punk. But you know, that's it for us. We hit the wall. Olivia, help you with this. Fully healed me. Yep. Hey, Olivia, this is it. This is your show now. See you, nerd. Nope. Oh. Cyrus wants to talk again. Oh, Dialga, this is... Fantastic! Beautiful! It's the creation of a new galaxy, my new world! I don't- I think I, I lost the voice. I forgot what voice I, I was given him. What? Seems he made a mistake in letting <laughs> letting me release them. <laughs> Morons. <laughs> that face. Hey, Mesprit. What's up? The red chain had crumbled away to nothing, but why? Why would Mesprit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? Never mind that, it's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone! I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. Before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Okay, good. Oh, never mind. I thought I got the turn. I wanted to put Kagura up front, so... Anyway. That voice really is not a great decision, but... It, like, it... I was... I wanted to capture the insane, intense energy he's given off. 
You know what? Let's give it a shot. So let's start off with a power gym. Let's see how much damage we can do to this guy. I mean, it was going to be a lot. I guess the main question is how much it will do to me. Hey, let's go, Ren. Kick ass, girl. One more power gem. Hunch goes down. Glenn for the win. Also, he was... It didn't take him very long to evolve... His Pokemon. I'll, I'll bet both of them evolved, huh? Okay, now we're actually going to be taking on the Gyarados with Sheeton. I'm going to make... I'm, gonna, I'm making the good decision this time. You intimidate me, but that's fine. I'm going to hit you with a Discharge. And wreck your whole world. I outspeed. Oh, he's got the... I forgot the name of that berry. It's not used super often. Walk on. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Way to hang in there, Sheeden. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, well, he handled it. Good job, buddy. Next up is the Weavile. Kagura gets his first chance to battle since in this episode. <laughs> or her chance, excuse me. I forgot, there's two Kagaros that I... You know, the Kagura from Fire Emblem, and then the, Kara, the Kagura from... Scarlet Nexus, who's a dude. So, I accidentally called him. God damn it. This is gonna hurt, but I'm pretty sure that Kagura will live it. Yep. God, you and your fucking Choppleberry. I still one shot. Get destroyed. Glenn levels up. And what's his last Pokemon? Crobat. Ooh. Um, we'll just go with it. I don't know, fuck it. Uh, you know what? I guess Blue did do a bit of fighting. Let's go to Omen. Omen hasn't gotten a chance. I admit you pushed me to this extreme. That one is way more guttural. Because I, I, I had it. I don't know, I think I had to change it slightly because of my... How intense the original voice I gave in this episode was. He got a crit. Poison, yep. Of course. At least we know we can live another crit. That should do a lot, though, because Cro that did less than I expected. Holy. All right, let's try another foul play. Let's see what happens here. I'm surprised it did as little as it did. I won't be... I won't... I won't lie. We got a crit right back. Let's go, Omen. Good job, buddy. We did it. We beat Cyrus. Sheen levels up. Very good. I won't accept this, the power spoken of in mythology. I didn't just make it obey me, I made it my own! What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? It doesn't exist. That's the, that's the truth of it. The most important thing, what shines the brightest? Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up! I will become a deity one day and I will make the ultimate mine. So what happens to him? See you, Dialga. Oh, I can't run. <laughs> I literally couldn't move. Dialga. <clears throat> God damn it. This is the voice that gives me the most trouble because I can't remember it. Dialga, the master of time, it's impossible to tell if it's enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Olivia. She seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, Olivia. Face up to Dialga. Listen to his hearts. Understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use his power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Olivia, I just ran into Jad. He said he believed in you. He said you could get the job done. I think so too. If you gotta help that Pokemon, it's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. I mean, I... I know, because Rowan just said that. And I like how nobody healed me or anything. I appreciate that. Gagyugyuba. Whoa, look at that intro sequence. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna one shot it. We're gonna go for Drain Punch. <laughs> Why did I not quick ball it? Because I forgot. Watch him get the Omni Boost. 
called it! Oh, fuck. I might be able to Drain Punch again, though. That's a pretty good low health. I want to keep the Master Ball, because it could be useful for another Pokemon we may have to encounter later. I wanted to stock up on balls, but I never... I couldn't... I, I didn't want to have to leave Mount Cornet and come back. If we're being totally honest. I just don't have many good... Alright, fuck it, Ultra Ball time. No dice. If Kyogre goes down, I'm going into Omen to Haze. Well, actually, he would just be able to knock Omen out with an ancient power, provided he used it. Roar of Time. Fuck. I wonder what happens if you run. Will it stay there? At least because it used Roar of Time, it can't move, so I can haze it. For fuck's sake, Dialga. It's not nighttime, which sucks, because then my Dust Balls really are not that effective. Ultra Balls are literally the best type of ball I have right now. For this situation. Because I mean, Quick Ball, I'm at the fucking start, because I'm an idiot. He also hasn't rolled once. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. I don't have any status moves. First time he it rolls, we got it. Let's go. Nice. Blue and Omen both level up. Misty's nearly level 51. Oh my god. I don't have a name for Diaga, so I'm gonna just keep it as Diaga. Let's see him in summary. Sassy. Cool. Metal said flash cannon. Never used. <laughs> <laughs> Their faces. Olivia, I don't know how you. You're magnificent. Truly, you are incredible. I've lived for six years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time the professor did a lot of research, he became very worried about you, Olivia. So he came out to a place as terrible as this. Olivia, I'm glad to see you're safe. I keep saying your name way too many times, but let's leave this place already. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. You're damn right, Rowan. I wonder if they're related. I wonder if there's actually like a thing. Dude, why does nobody heal me? Help me. You know, that Pokemon really was extraordinary, wasn't it? Wasn't it the Pokemon that created the Sinnoh region? Olivia, we're looking forward to seeing your Pokedex. Good places you never visited before. That way, you should encounter Pokemon you haven't yet seen. Cool. Nobody helps me out, though. Poor Kagero. I'm actually curious. I want to... Are they going to be gone when I... Yeah. All right. I didn't do that on purpose, but I was curious if they would disappear. Oh, there's something over here. The Adamant Orb. Okay, that makes perfect sense, actually. Very cool. I want to see what happens if I use the uh, Explore Kit here. I can't. <laughs> well, that would explain it. I can't fly on, bro. This it's just this place wants to just infuriate me. So the the thing it says we need to do is go check up on Sunny Shore City. I don't know why. Like, we don't need to check up. We just need to go there. Anyway, I can fly from here. I don't have to go back into Mount Cornet. I actually should have stayed in Mount Cornet and go ch and gone to check out that place that Galactic was guarding, because I do wonder what that is. I don't know if I- I don't think I can fly to Spear Pillar, so I think I have to walk all the way back to, <laughs> uh, that part of Mount Cornet when we get there. Ooh, we can now actually rock climb over here, so let me- let me go do that. wonder what this is, if it's even worth it, because I have to go all the way back to get here. It's, it's really not. Really wasn't worth it. But now, since we're over here... Actually, we could- we haven't even tried surfing on this route. I also need to figure out where the Shaman Surf spot is, where you can surf and glitch the game and get Shaman. I also haven't updated my game, at least I don't think. I never specifically installed it. I was told that there was an update last time, so I really hope it didn't automatically update it. I know there's a new menu glitch though. Uh, people figured out how to do it again, even after the patch. Also, why are these Pokemon only level 21 when you can't get here until you get the 7th gym badge? Just for roar, it's really not worth it. 
wonder if there's anything rare in this grass, though. So far, only Shellos. You can find, find wild floatzels. That's kind of cool. It's a hacked floatzel, because it's level 22, but that's kind of cool. Alright. Let's see, there's some, it might be something over here. No, they just have this random spat as... What the hell is this for, then? <laughs> You're not gonna hide an item there. Anyways, we're at 222. I wonder what kind of Pokemon we can find here. Oh, there's stuff over here, probably, though. A full restore. Ooh, you can actually find Wild Chat out here. They're level 41. Oh my god, these Pokemon are high level. Let's go. This probably could be a good place for grinding at some point. Like, not actually grinding my team, because we're overleveled as it is, but... I don't really want to fight any trainers. I don't need to. I'm level 50. All of my Pokemon are too high level. I didn't... Dude. Okay, literally, I tapped down once, and then she jumped off the ledge. Even though it was between those damn poles. I really don't like that. I did it again! Bro, that's so not cool! Like... I swear to god, she takes like a step and a half. Oh my fucking god. Are you expecting me to just... I just have to thread the needle and keep the angle perfect? Oh, I hate it. I really... The, the controls are too janky. I don't know why I'm breaking this rock. It's completely... Oh, well, I guess... I, she turns around. I didn't know that. Pikachu fan club. Pika, pika, pika. Pika, pika. Hello. Hey, I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu. Good luck. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. And apparently we battle inside of a house. This is not a very smart idea. Why are you only level 41? Your only time level is the wild Pokemon. It's ridiculous. I bet if I send him my Pikachu clone, he could... He'd be better. I need to get better moves for Sheedon. He's only got electric, which isn't bad, but makes him less useful because he can't hit uh, uh, electric types very well. Got the freak. When the little kids are upset, they're adorable in this game. They're little animations. One of these guys probably gives me a super red, but I don't really want to talk to him. I don't really want to fight. That, it comes with the territory of already being level 50. We're not even to the 8th gym yet. Alright, what's over here? Is there an item? There must be some kind of item, right? Why else would this exist? I found a big mushroom in the middle of the grass? What? Are, are, is it some kind of special Pokemon? Why is this here? I might have used Chatot if the only one we didn't get until late game was the one that didn't listen to me in the second gym. So I pretty much discovered this is completely and utterly pointless. There was a big mushroom here. That's the only thing that was here. So there's literally no point for this area to exist. Whoa! Was anyone paying attention? The whole screen... I think it adjusted me sideways and it tried to do a quick fade so I wouldn't notice. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta fight this dude. Takes both brains and brawn when you're out at sea, eh? It's not an easy job, it's a sailor's life. Take your word for it. You don't look like you got much brawn, I'm gonna be honest. So Gastrodon is kind of a Pokemon I sort of struggle against. Oh wait! Shoot! I forgot I can give Grass Knot to, uh... Sheedon. It won't be the greatest thing because Gra Gastrodon is granted a ground type. And... Ow! And does super effective damage on, uh... Sheedon, but like... It could be good to have something like that against... Just like to weaken the Gastrodon, like specifically Cynthia's Gastrodon. That one, I think, will be an issue. I don't know if Bertha has one, either. Kind of make a little bit of sense. Glub, glub, glub. Whatever that means. I guess glub, glub, glub to you, too? Okay, we're about to go to Sunny Shore. I don't know what voice I'm going to get Flint. 
Yo, fellow trainer, there's no masking that aura of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. The name is Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I look like a clown. I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about the city's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challengers worth his time. He's so bored he spends all his time renovating the gym and spending a ton of money and the taxpayers hate him, but you know, that's just how it is. And then the blackout happened, that sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot, it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, hotshot. Thanks, Flit. I, I really like the Sunny Shore music. It's among the, my favorite in all of this region. I think in this place is where you talk to the person that like gives you the effort ribbons. So we might be able to get, uh, I don't know why I put Misty there. But I might be able to get effort ribbons on my, 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 my team. Because pe they, they've probably done enough battling to get max DVs, except for maybe Toxic Oak. Let's see, do you have to pow- you do have to- oh, they, they did re-add that. Now how do I do that? How do you- how do you- how do you- Cause I- I remember actually seeing a random video about the- the Diamond and Pearl and someone mentioning polishing their badges and then I thought, Is that a thing in this game? I wonder if you have to take it out of the console and touch it. That's probably what you have to do. If that's the case, I will include a video at the end. Or, I will have in included a video right then of me doing it. Let's do a little- let's check out Sunny Shore a little bit. I think we got enough time. But yeah, the walkways are big solar panels, which is pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, Vista Lighthouse. I think that's where Volkner is? He's too- uh, yeah. <laughs> he needs to think about the city's power needs, too. He's drunk with power. Like, you know what to stop him. Jet Rock, isn't he actually- isn't it actually a Pokemon? It looks a little bit like a Snorlax. The Rylu Egg is hatching! It said it wasn't close, but apparently it was! Imagine it's shiny, that'd be cool. But it's not gonna be. Such a low chance. Look at that, it's a little Jed! He's timid, that's not very good! <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not awful because Rylu's kind of, or Lucario's kind of a mixed attacker. Julia's house, so therefore ribbons for Pokemon. I think I have Toxic Rock up front, so you're probably not. Um. Hello, you're quite the nifty trainer. My husband is a sailor, he's off working somewhere far away. I long for the day he comes back to me. Although waiting every day gets to be boring, though. I know, how about you and me visit and I will tell you stories every so often? Really? Starting tomorrow. Okay. I thought you did effort ribbons. Wait. I don't care, my god. It was a boy named Cyrus who lived here. He seemed to sell others, and he preferred the company of machines. I was a brilliant student, I recall. I often wonder what became of him. Well, he became a psychotic supervillain that tried to destroy the world. <gasps> Look at that! It's Jasmine! We're gonna go check out Jasmine in a bit. Oh, there's Flint, Mr. Clown Guy. This is just, okay, so I came in here, I didn't say anything, but all of these, this is just a, such a random assortment of people. You've got like an aroma lady, is that, that's not an aroma lady, I forget exactly what training class this person is. But you have the battle girl and those kids on the side and then that, the guy sitting at the computer and then a clown. And they all just talk about the underground. <laughs> like what, what, what do you sell? So, uh, big selection of stickers, oh, okay. Your Toxic Rogue needs to work a little harder. You're the person who gives the effort ribbons. Let's do Misty, because Misty's been here the longest. Works tremendously hard, didn't it? This is where we give this effort ribbon. Yay! It'd be really cool if it was actually like a physical thing that you could see on them, rather than just marked here. I think literally everybody but Kagero is, is maxed out their EVs. And Kagero's only been here since... Uh, he was like level 32 or something like that. I, that's when I caught him, so. Or caught her. I keep calling him him. I'm sorry. Hey, Jasmine. Uh, um, my name is Jasmine, and I'm a gym leader. Well, I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Uh, um, it'd be nice if you knew about Johto. 
Oh, you have the city's gym badge. You'll be forced to turn back. That's true. Okay. And she, I think she trades us a Steelix, which is kind of funny because I already have a, um, a Steelix. I already caught one. But yes, that is where I'm going to end the episode. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Appreciate it. In the next episode, we will be t we will go uh, into the lighthouse and challenge Volkner. I didn't mean to go into the Pokemon Center. It sucked me in, but that's fine. Um, and we will uh, then take on the Sunny Shore Gym. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more. I'll talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.